The Great Ocean Walk begins on Victoria's spectacular Great Ocean Road at Apollo Bay and takes hikers to wild sandy beaches, lush rainforests and some of Australia's most dramatic cliffs. There are numerous individual stretches of this 100km trail, each with their own unique appeal, such as this, the Lockhart Lantern Walk, best enjoyed as the sun sets over the Bass Strait. The walk has three components, the geological processes, the history aspect of it, and of course when you see 20,000 mutton birds coming out of the night time, it's, it's pretty special. We only walk um, a kilometre and a half, two kilometres at the very most. The tracks are disabled access, so people with uh, restricted mobility can go on the walk, so it's, it's open to everyone. This is Mutton Bird Island over here. So of an evening during the November through to March period, we have a large number of birds coming out of the night time. So how many birds do you think you'd have on the island? Well, they burrow at a density of about one per square metre. So there's somewhere between 30 and 50,000 birds on this island during the peak period. It's a lot of birds. You can see a couple starting to fly in now. They normally come through from the ocean in the southwest, fly around the islands, uh, and then they'll go back to their burrow. And if you're keen to return to your burrow after a day of hiking exhilaration through this magical landscape, then there are numerous accommodation options from camping and B&Bs to something with a little touch of luxury. Both Feet is a, a purely a guided hiking company, so we operate small group um, guided trips along the Great Ocean Walk, and we stay here at our exclusive Both Feet Walking Lodge accommodation. On one day you may be going through tall mountain nash that grow over 100 metres tall with big lush rainforest gullies. Other days you may be walking along secluded wild beaches where you've got the rolling ocean crashing in alongside you and you really feel a sense of awe at, at, at nature. So all that's there to be soaked up along the walk. A lot of our hikers have, um, have perhaps been backpackers in their younger years and they're uh, now looking for ways to have uh, comfortable walking experiences. So when they come back here we offer them the opportunity to include a, a massage that's included in every walk. We also have uh, foot spas for people to be able to soak their tootsies and tune up the transport for the next day and hot showers at the end of the day. So a really great way to, to come back and, and just chill out at the end of your walking experience. So Mary, Rosemary, tell me, you've been walking all morning. How's it been? Absolutely wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. We've had a yeah. lovely time. We've seen um, kangaroos and wallabies, and I think you guys saw koalas. koalas in the trees and a beautiful, big, healthy male koala walking along the side of the road. Really? Mm -hmm. But this morning, the, um, the eastern grey kangaroos were hopping down the road in front of our little vehicle. Oh, yeah. oh wonderful. Yes, yeah, so it was fantastic. Well, it looks like we've got a fabulous oh lunch here, so we should get do. stuck in. <laughs> we do. We've deserved it. Too. Indeed. And we've eaten really well and we haven't had to carry it, and that's yeah. a real bonus. Excellent. <laughs> no squash sandwiches for you. No. <laughs> so there you go. Freshly prepared lunches en route, massages and foot spas at the end of the day, and luxury accommodation to sleep in. Now that sounds like my sort of hiking.